Hey everyone, it's Inside College Football Overtime with Randy Cross, Aaron Taylor, Brian Jones, and I'm Adam Zucker. Uh, this is all for you exclusively at CBSSports.com, picking the week's marquee matchups that'll be coming your way this weekend. And uh, there's a big one over on CBS. Florida at Alabama, a rematch of the last two SEC championships at 8 Eastern. Offensive fire with Eugene, Oregon, the host site, Stanford against the Ducks, Texas against Oklahoma, Red River rivalry, and Coach D'Antonio back in the booth watching from upstairs as his Spartans host Wisconsin. So uh, let's talk about these games. Aaron, start us off with this SEC showdown. Florida, Abilama, East, <laughs> East, West in the showdown, baby. This Florida offense with the emergence of Trey Burton and John Brantley finally playing is starting to come of age. But I think the key matchup in this game is going to be that Florida defense, which has been so physical and so good picking balls off this year against Alabama's offense. Watching the game inside the game, it's going to be really interesting to see how this Florida defense responds. Do they load the box and force McElroy to throw the ball and leave one on one coverage with Julio Jones? Or do they come up with some other combination? It's almost a pick your poison with Alabama, and I'm very interested to see how. Florida handles it. All right, Randy, take us to this Pac-10 showdown. Well, I love this one. Jim Harbaugh's Stanford Cardinal going against Oregon, the Oregon Ducks. <laughs> Michael James is something else. He's only played in 16 games. He has over 2,000 yards rushing in those 16 games. This year he has five touchdowns of various length, none less than about 30 yards. Stanford, very good quarterback in Andrew Luck. They throw the ball extremely well, but the bottom line with Stanford guys is they have the same personality of their head coach, Jim mm -hmm. Harbaugh. Love hit Harbaugh or not, this is a team that's very, very physical, extremely smart, and takes advantage of every mistake you make. Ended a uh, seven-game losing streak to Oregon last year when they uh, had Toby Gerhardt still, but looking very strong. And uh, we, of course, saved Texas and Oklahoma for you, Mr. Jones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually looking forward to the corn dogs, the turkey legs at the Ooh. state fair. Mm, usually smells like victory, but this year I'm not so sure. The Texas Longhorns come in with a not so physical offensive line. These guys are getting shoved around. They're playing. The defenses are playing on their side of the line of scrimmage. They can't run the ball. They came into this season focusing on that, and that has been a focal point, but they haven't gotten it done. So they need to find an identity on the offensive side of the ball. Are you going to run it or are you going to spread it out and pass? And if they choose to pass it, Oklahoma's secondary they've had too many problems back there and they may be able to make some hay with that but I think Oklahoma the running game DeMarco Murray DeMarco Murray's gonna do everything for this football team return and run the ball receiving the ball I think Oklahoma is gonna be too much this year for my Longhorn yes and uh, mm. just in case you think he's only doing it for the web BJ did officially pick Oklahoma wow. on inside college football which maybe comes Texas away needs to change their at diet 10 Eastern on <laughs> Tuesday <laughs> <laughs> he's Randy he's Aaron he's BJ I'm Adam bye <laughs>